Antoine Lestage and Patrick Richard. Between them, they have dominated the season so far. Mitsubishi star driver Lestage opened the season with a new car and a win on the icy roads of Quebec. Team Subaru and driver Patrick Richard scored wins in Alberta and Gaspé, led the championship going into last month's Rally Day Peak. But when a boulder shattered the gearbox, Team Subaru came away with no points and handed a win to their rivals. Now they meet again in the mountains of BC. Richard, Lestage, Subaru, Mitsubishi. The Pacific Forest Rally is next. Hello Canada, Vic Rutter along with TSN Rally Analyst Paul Chater and we are in Merritt, British Columbia, 271 kilometers west of Vancouver in the Nicola Valley. Merritt's a growing town of 7,000 which annually balloons to over 100,000 during its famous country music festival. It's a perfect rally town, great logging roads and near a central service point right downtown. We'll start Friday night and run all day Saturday, 16 closed road special stages totaling 154 kilometers, seven of those stages in the dark. The high altitude stages were blanked in snow this morning so good lights and tires are crucial. Rally on PSN is brought to you in part by Subaru. Think, feel, drive Subaru. And by Yokohama Performance Radio. Now, you've got control. One of the mottos of rally racing is press on regardless. Back in June, fighting for the lead, Antoine Lestage and co-driver Natalie Richard saw their season falling apart. A whole heater course due steamy, hot air all over the windshield. Here, 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 right. If you can't see, slow down. Here it is. Yeah, but f***ing hell, that. No! I'm in a rally. I know, Antoine, but you can't f***ing they couldn't see a thing. The frustration was obvious, but they didn't retire. Limping through the stage, taking huge penalties, but pressing on. Eventually, the pair who are used to winning could only salvage a distant four. Now the rally is over. Today, that decision to fight for fourth seems brilliant as the Rockstar team leads Patrick Richard and Alan Ockwell by 11 points. A fourth place finish. With just two rounds to go, that could all be Lestage needs to claim his third Canadian Rally Championship. As darkness descends on the Nicola Valley, let's get started. Pacific Forest Rally two, 2009, one, stage one, go, car one, one, the rock star, one, Evo one, 10, and that's Lestage and that's Right, four late, don't go wide. Antoine is in a unique situation here. He doesn't have to beat Pat Richard to win the championship. A second place here and another at the season-ending Tall Pines rally would give him the title by one point. That's assuming Pat wins both rallies. For a driver with a history of winning or breaking like Antoine, aiming for second place goes against his nature. I like to win rallies, you know that. I want to drive fast enough to don't, don't lose my concentration, but uh, I have to use my head and think of uh, the main objective, which is the championship. Subaru Canada's Patrick Richard and co-driver Alan Ockwell have that same kind of reputation. Pat either wins or breaks dry. Not a lot of second place finishes on either driver's resume. Who is faster, Richard or Lestage? is an ongoing debate for the fans of both drivers. They've both won Pacific Forest before. They've both won twice this season. But here's the difference. Richard must win, whereas Antoine can settle for second. Richard will need to go the Quebec driver into a maximum attack charge. That's where crashes happen and where the cars break. I mean, the only strategy for this event is to, to recognize that we've both been really close in our times all year long. And uh, I think if he smells that he can catch a win in this event, he'll try for it. So uh, hopefully he's up for the fight this weekend and uh, we can have a good time. Crazy Leo Erlicic is a fast driver in an X-Factory Subaru STI, and he could be a spoiler. I'm sure I can do, if I don't have problems, I can be third. So as much as I will try to go fast, and I hope, you know, I'll be at the top, as long as I can put some pressure, keep some pressure on Antoine, they'll still have to push, and then anything can happen. Apart from the race for the overall championship, we have a strong two-wheel drive field here as well. This is Winnipeg's Jan and Jody Zedro. The brothers have been competing regularly in Canada and the U.S. over the past three seasons and have quietly improved to the point where they're now probably the fastest two-wheel drive out there. They could lock up the Group 2 title this weekend if they can beat the Alberta Volkswagens of Eric Wachowski and Gord Olson. Olson is a former national champion who has been campaigning a Subaru but has brought his old reliable GTI out this weekend. 
After three stages, the top nine overall positions were filled by all the Jordan cars, but in 10th place was the leading Group 2 machine of the Zedrill Brothers. Back with Antoine Lestage and Natalie as they approach the finish of stage number three. Opens into Slippy right three. Opens. Don't cut, don't cut. In the care right Stopping three. Stopping the clock the is two minutes, 57.3 seconds. This last time was uh, 57.3. 57.3. 57, 257.3. 257, Thanks. Let's see how Patrick Rashard can respond. Alan Alpo is calling the notes, but unlike our intercom, the Subaru STI is performing flawlessly, enabling Rashard to post the blistering times he needs to stay in sight of the prize. And Paul at the finish, the hopes are high. Going very well. We believe we've won all three stages and we've probably got about 10 seconds leading them, so good start. The Rail Yard Mall in Merritt is the headquarters for the Pacific Forest Rally. The cars were popular four times on Saturday for service. However, Friday night they have a spectacular stage to the parking lot and it is a lot of fun. At the end of day one, Patrick Richard and Alan Ockwell lead the Pacific Forest Rally by 15 seconds. There's a good fight for third with Crazy Leo, Simone Lozier, and local ace Scott Trinder. Lots more coming up in the daylight. This is the Canadian Rally Championship on TSA. Hey, Mario. Hey, what do you got in this thing? Uh, 16 valve, 2.4 liter engine, 200 horsepower, uh, air conditioning. 32 valve, 3.5 liter engine, 650 horsepower, air conditioning. Honda builds every IndyCar engine. It's our commitment to racing and engineering. The same engineering that goes into the all new Civic, the official vehicle of the IZOD IndyCar series. Welcome back to Merritt, BC, the Pacific Forest Rally. Vic Rotor along with Paul Chater. Beautiful Nicola Lake, just north of Merritt, is the start of Special Stage 6. Rally leaders Patrick Richard and Alan Ockwell come into day two with a lead of 15.2 seconds. And Paul, the Subaru STI that you can buy at your local dealer is a very, very fast car, but this rally prep machine is really a beast. Yeah, the rules require a 34 millimeter restrictor on the turbo, which is actually smaller than stock, but on the dyno, it's been tuned to generate 320 horsepower and 450 feet-pounds of torque. The car weighs 3,200 pounds and can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4 seconds on dirt. And Five, here's the competition. Four, three, two, one. Oh, he actually and wanted to start day two second crest. on the road. He wanted to start it's second because he likes crest. to read Pat's tracks. Well, it's good to, to be second because you can see the braking points and the lines he's taking, and the, you can you know that if you're braking a little bit later that, than him on every braking point, you're a little bit faster. And look at the snow. The stage wins two stages in a row to erase most of Richard's 15-second lead. Simon Lozier from Saint Therese, Quebec, is losing his grip on fourth place, beaten over the next two stages by both Crazy Leo and Scott Trinder. The young Russian driver, Paul, who uh, calls himself Crazy Leo, holds third place overall, but on stage six, he only managed to beat Scott Trinder by one-tenth of a second. Trinder is really flying in an old right-hand drive Subaru. And after six stages, Trinder and Lozier are now tied for fourth. Yeah, the teams all meet their service crews back in Merritt. It's a chance to refuel, change tires, make repairs, and compare their times. Aquil must be thinking, where did our lead go? The boss doesn't seem worried, though. I'm like, yeah, right. The thrill of rallying is that competition, and without that competition, it's just unfortunate that uh, Antoine's not really stepping up to fight because, uh, you know, that's what we're here for. 
you know, who wants to cruise in first place with no one chasing him. And if Pat's playing head games, no one knows that better than his sister. Well, I thought after Nicola that he would have been mad. We always expected that if we were going to take time off of him, it would have been on the first run through. Um, so from here out, we might just be swapping, you know, seconds. I expect that he's going to um, push harder this time out. I think these guys know each other uh, well enough that they aren't able to really play with each other mentally. I don't really advise Antoine on what Pat's thinking. Even if I say something, Antoine's already thought it. The best rally drivers will tell you that driving flat out is relatively easy. The tricky bit is knowing how fast is fast enough. When a hotshot fast guy learns that lesson, he starts winning regularly. After crashing a lot of Subarus early in his career, Richard has become a master at controlling the pace. Unfortunately for him, Antoine's very good himself. And he's got Natalie beside him and John Fotham as a crew chief, both reminding the driver to keep focused on the championship. And when you say flat out is easy, of course that's all relative. Sure, flat out for you or me might be an easy cruise for a Pat Richard or a Jensen Button. Uh, when you see a rally driver breaking at the last possible instant, cutting into the ditches, using all the road, that's maximum attack. 100% commitment. Eventually it ends badly because on that fine edge, you will crash or damage your car. And so the duel continues. Stage 8 goes to Lestage by four tenths of a second. Stage 9, both drivers increase the pace and the gap is shaved by a further 1.3. Yeah, maybe we're in the lead or we're maybe tie. It's crazy. It's fun. Beautiful stage. Nice. Everything's going well. So We're cool. up by 0.4 of a second. Pat wanted a little battle, so it's cool. I like it too. Just six tenths of a second. That's the margin that Antoine Lestage trails Pat Richard after nine of 16 special stages. Crazy Leo is comfortably in third, but look at that fight for fourth. Simon Lozier is just half a second ahead of Scott Trinder, and Trinder is charging. To say the least, this rally is far from over, but both leaders will need major effort from their mechanics. The Canadian Rally Championship on Canada Sports Leader, TSN. With so much racing going on in the world, you'd have to be a four-headed monster to keep up with it all. Luckily, we have that. Join Peter Keane, Bill Wood, Errol Tucker, and their guest driver analyst each week for an opinionated look at the news coming out of the racing world. Remember, it's GoRacingTV.com for all your racing. Welcome back to the Canadian Rally Championship in Merritt, B.C. Stage 10, 7 kilometers, called Nicola. Patrick Richard on the start line. Paul, he leads by six tenths of a second. But if he has more speed in that car, he'd be wise to let it go. Now. 40, slippy deep left. Extra slippy four right. He, he overruns. This is actually the third Five pass right, over 60, this stage. The first two times Richard was beaten by Lestage. In fact, Lestage has won five in a row, six and right Richard needs to push back. Over crest. 200 down. Caution, very slippy. Five right minus. And. Approaching the flying finish. Very slippy four left plus. Three minutes, 42.5 seconds. That is a record time. Jesus. 12 seconds faster. On it right now. Well, <laughs> look out, Antoine. Flat crest, 250, or uh, 200. You're having a lot of fun with that. Yeah, I'm great. Left six plus, 80. And your right six plus. Think so. Le it is? Yeah. Oops. Okay, left six plus, half long over long crest opens. Yeah. What the f***? Left five minus, half long, tightens little. Antoine says he's lost boost. Without the turbocharger, right the engine will lose over wide. 100 horsepower. Opens over small crest. Put your flash on, left three plus, opens yeah, over small crest. Yeah, put the flashers on Paul. You said that earlier. You can care, right five, short of her crest. Mean, but this is definitely and right three plus long. Again. How long to go? Uh, three pages, but three pages. Yeah. Wow, Let's cruising slowly for three time. kilometers would be a huge advantage for Pat Richard, who will gain 37 seconds, but at this point, Antoine must be thinking about raising the wheel. The Russian Subaru driver is just over 90 seconds behind in third place, but he's closing on the Olympic Rockstar Mitsubishi by nearly two seconds per kilometer. Another driver who's really picked up the pace, Scott Trinder in his 14-year-old Impreza. He's moved past Simon Lozier into fourth place. And there's something you don't see often in Canada. Trinder imported this car from Japan where the steering wheels are on the right. Must confuse all the volunteers manning the checkpoints, though. 
Simon Lozier, Francois Moran, they hold on to fifth place. And that noise is a flat tire. They only have a few K to go, so they won't stop to fix it. It's better to drive it out. Yeah. And there are some uh, long faces in the Mitsubishi camp. Yeah, yeah we, had, we lost boost in mid midway through the last stage. And Lost 40 seconds. I don't know exactly what it is. There's no oil. It's not good. Still a long way to go and hopefully they can fix it. The Zedrils continue to hold on to their skinny lead in two-wheel drive. Today is the, the make or break for the two-wheel drive Canadian Championship. So uh, that's what we're trying to do today. Us, Zibi and Gordolson on the last stage tied to the second. So it's definitely a tight battle. Very, very tight. Meanwhile, Subaru needs Crazy Leo to pass Antoine. Well, I was actually very happy that I'm getting closer to them on pace. Uh, the day started me being about two and a half seconds per kilometer slower. And now, I was the last one I was about one second per kilometer slower. That's my personal achievement that I'm happy about. If it, if it just so happens that uh, the guys have problems and they fall behind, of course I'll go for it. A 20-minute service isn't enough time to swap out a new turbo on the Evo, so they have to improvise a repair. So on the car, that little pin here that holds that lever that will actuate the wastegate is broken. So because this is broken, we have no boost. And now we don't have time to change the turbo, so they're trying to organize something to fix this, welding a little something, and hopefully it'll work. This is a gamble. If the repair doesn't hold, it could mean a DNF, but they can't just keep running on reduced power either. The team has done the math, and Leo will pass them before the finish, so the Wolf will dice. Hope to hang on to the championship lead. Paul, this is called Active Mountain, a short 2K spectator stage that's just south of Herrick. Patrick Richard, Alan Ockwell would win the stage and extend their lead. The Subaru team has won eight of the first 13 special stages. For Antoine Lestage and Natalie Richard, Active Mountain is more about surviving than winning. They must be waiting for the turbo wastegate to fail every time he lifts off the throttle, which doesn't appear too often. Definitely over finish. Keep right over small crest. That's good. Okay, that felt good. You bet, and that turbo repair held too. And Crazy Leo must have been feeling the pressure. If he could catch Lestage, he could help deliver the Canadian Championship to Subaru. For a young driver looking at his first podium finish, it was all a bit too much. Uh, we have uh, lost four seconds to Antoine, five seconds or six seconds to Pat. So I thought that's, that's too much to lose and I decided to go for it. So condition changed a little bit and I decided to push too hard and they say the right thing. You cannot win the rally there but you can lose it. But uh, for the crash there's no damage so it's the most spectacular thing you can get for free. At least he's smiling about it. Richard holds a comfortable lead for the first time with three stages to go. Crazy Leo is out. That bumps Trinder up into third. 33 seconds ahead of Lozier. And if you're thinking Patrick Richard will be able to cruise home from here, well, think again. We have the conclusion of the Pacific Forest Rally when we come back. State your desires. Speed, adrenaline, competition. Calculating, result in three, two, one. The National Auto Source Association, start here. Welcome back to the Pacific Forest Rally. It's round five of the Canadian Rally Championship from Merritt, B.C. Rally on TSN is brought to you in part by Subaru. Think, feel, drive, Subaru. Nick Router along with Paul Chater. We have five, three stages four, to go. Three, two, one, go. 40, slippy, keep left. 
Extra slippy four right. 80, 80 over runs. The rally will end with three runs over the longest stage of the entire Five event. Right, it's called Helmer Lake South, and it's 22.7 kilometers over some of the best rally terrain runs. in all of North America. It's late afternoon now, and the snow we saw earlier has melted, leaving the road right, damp right, and slippery. Ultra, 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 A bigger ultra, 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 issue is that the road was snow covered during reconnaissance, so the crews can't be sure which ditches are okay to cut and which ditches hide huge tire shredding rocks. And now, Paul, it looks like just a routine service for Team Subaru. Well, Helmer's a fantastic stage. It's a little rough in spots, very, very slippery, but it's one of the all-time classic Canadian stages. Uh, about eight, eight kilometers from the finish of the stage, the handling of the car was kind of all squarely. It was oversteering a lot. Uh, we clipped a few rocks along the way, and we got a small puncture in the left rear. It didn't cost us too, too much time, though. And this routine service, well, turned into anything but. Yeah, changing a wheel is normally easy, but the wheel hub is damaged and they can't get the nut off the stud to remove the old flat tire. It sounds simple, but some of the best rally mechanics in the game tried chiseling, burning, grinding, and cutting to get that wheel off. And all of this with Pat and Alan strapped into the car, still up on the jack stands. The work continues, but they're late. Five minutes late leaving, that translates into a 50 second penalty. Puts them into a virtual tie with Andrew Lestage. This rally has more plots, twists and turns than a Halloween horror movie. All we now need is a full moon and howling wolves. Okay, let's go. And Richard is flying on a long stage like this, he can't hold back. If Lestage would just have the second indicator faster, that would translate to an insurmountable lead this late in the rally. Remember, Richard must win here and the tall pines in November to defend his championship. Lestage has a somewhat easier goal. He only needs to finish second at both events. Anything less than a victory here at Pacific Forest would be a disaster for Richard. And you know, Paul, when you think about it, it has been a very disciplined drive by the stars. Right Look, every left. racer has an ego, wants to and prove he's the fastest, left win left every left stage, but right. Antoine has kept that championship picture in his mind and has refused and to risk not finishing. Into care, right five of Jan and Jody Central, they hang on to finish at the front of the two-wheel drive standings. They beat Eric Rachowski by three minutes and lock up the Group 2 championship. Look at those going front brakes. Running first on the road again, Antoine had no way of knowing how hard his rival was attacking. But then again, yeah, it didn't really matter. Yeah, that was good. We, we took it easy in the last stage. Uh, Pat uh, gained uh, a lot of time on the stage before, but we're super happy. Uh, second place, that's what we wanted. So we keep the lead in the championship. Uh, thanks to the guys, the team, the tires, everybody's happy. That's good. You know, in all the years they've been rallying the 22K Helmer stage, no one, no one had ever gone under 13 minutes. Pat Richard did it. He shattered the previous mark three times. A new time, 12 minutes, 50.3 seconds. It truly was a great drive and his third win of the season. But Pat was underwhelmed at the finish. Yeah, I mean, we tried everything we could to try to go him into a fight, but uh, no dice, but we... Uh, Took a bad penalty there. We had to go pretty much flat out those last two stages, and it wasn't bad. Mission accomplished, though, for Team Subaru. They'll have to do it all over again, however, at Tall Pines. The race long fight for third went right to the wire. Simon Lozier managed to retake third place from Scott Trinder with a fast time on stage 15, but another flat tire on the final stage cost Lozier a minute and put Trinder and co driver Bill Westhead onto the podium in third place. So here are the final results, a lot closer than the times may suggest. Jan and Jody Zedrill had the only two-wheel drive car to track the top ten, finishing a very strong sixth. With just one rally left in 2009, the Rally of the Tall Pines in Bancroft, Ontario, Antoine Lestage goes into the final with a six-point lead. If Richard wins and Lestage takes second, Lestage will be champion by one point. Team Subaru's got to be thinking, Paul, about running a second driver, maybe Ken Block, Sylvan Erickson, or a European entry at Tall Pines. Any of those guys could be spoilers. Yeah, Mitsubishi can play that game, too. You can bet they'll have ACP back again, or how about Frank Sprongle? 
Regardless, it's going to be exciting. Congratulations to our winners. And thank you for watching the Canadian Rally Championship on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN.